Well, it's not the best day to be working on your van, especially fitting a diesel here. Or is it? When it's snowing. It's when you want to have a diesel heater, isn't it? I suppose. Alright, well, might as well get cracking. Well, I've templated. I don't need a drill for the fuel line because the fuel line's staying in board. I'm building it up on a couple of bits of wood so it's off the ground. Full circulation as well, I suppose. But it's going on the pressure plate, on the, the hot plate, on the two bits of wood. Drill those two holes next. Nothing underneath, I've checked. Nice and clear. First one's nearly, nearly through. Eh, it's weird, I must say. Totally brand new to all this kind of stuff. But, that's how you learn, isn't it? So, I've, it's made its mark. It's a tiny little punch through there. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. And hopefully a tiny little punch. Quick look underneath. Just double check. And then I'll plough straight through. Probably from, from the underside. We'll see. I don't think it'll reach all the way down, you see. So a nice little marker anyway, the two little holes. I've got the primer and the rust repellent ready to stick on and then I'll have a cup of tea. That's both through. Dead easy. Great when you use new tools, isn't it? So it's me connecting the fuel pump up. Well, connecting the pipes anyway. That'll fit on an angle. It's going to be 45 degrees for whatever reason. The one side goes to the pump, there's an arrow, and the other side goes to actual water. Now it is just fitting up as a gate because you've got to put it from the inside and then screw it tight on the outside. So I've just had to use an old CB aerial, fed through there, in, pushed it through, got a hold of it, pulled the CB aerial out, and then pulled this through slowly, so it's a real good tight fit. But I had to bend my bloody aerial though. I took the diesel heater back out of the van just to put the exhaust pipe and the air outlet on in the house and when I was trying to do it in the van the ones the Jubilee clips that arrived were rubbish they weren't even tightening up I mean that's that's fumes getting back into your your van from this here because of that cheap rubbish so I discarded them bought some decent heavy duty ones and I can actually get a seven mil spanner on it as well so I'm not going to worry about rounding off the screw and also for a couple of quid £3.75 some exhaust cement so I'm going to rub a little bit around the edges pop that on and then you're going to get a really good seal and there's nothing going to escape back into the van from that so £1.25 each four of those and one of those highly recommend you do the same there you go, absolutely solid and nice and tidy. I'll get back to fitting it on my day off now.